Ooh, you know what that means, right? Your pits are telling you it's time for a shower. Chances are, if you tuned into this video, you're interested in finding out how I save money taking showers. But before we get into that, welcome to the Thrifty Sites here. I'm your host, Sightseeing Sally. And for those of you who's first time here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and ring the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future vids. Now that I feel so much more refreshed, let's dive into my hack on how I save money taking showers. Now I know this is bordering on a little bit personal considering we're talking about hygiene, but I assure you, once you find out how I managed to get a shower for only 50 cents, you're gonna be forgetting all about that discomfort once you start saving money on your own showers. Why talk about showers? Showers when you're living in a normal house, a sticks and bricks as the RV and community likes to call it, are something you take for granted. You get up in the morning, what do you do? You take a shower. You feel like you're all hot and sweaty after working out in the garden or doing a heavy workout. You take a shower. You feel like you need to relax after a tough day at work. You take a hot shower. But when you're an RVer, a van dweller, or other type of nomad, showers become somewhat of a commodity. Something that you want to be able to save in time, money, and water. Now granted, the hack I'm about to share with you is tied to a specific place, but the general concept remains the same and can be modified to be used elsewhere. Finally, some of you might be wondering why would I even be concerned about saving money on showers when we have a shower in our own rig? Well, let me share a few things with you. You're looking at two to two and a half gallons of water per minute for the shower you're taking. Which means if you take a seven minute shower, you're looking at using over 15 gallons of water just for that one shower. Also, that water doesn't come automatically heated up. You need to use, if you're like most rigs, your propane, your propane fueled hot water heater to heat up that water. And let's face it, propane isn't all that cheap. And so for that one shower, you're probably looking at spending a dollar on propane. Finally, if you're out boondocking, you're definitely gonna wanna be saving on the amount of water you're using because 15 gallons is a lot of water to be trucking just for one shower. Now that you know why you wanna be saving money on showers, let's dive into the heck. If you watch my video called Best Place to RV on a Budget, you already know that at Squaw Lake, they have hot showers. But what you didn't know is that it is here at Squaw Lake that you can get a really cheap shower. You can get that hot shower for only a buck. And if you follow my hack, you can get that same hot shower for only 50 cents. Don't believe me? Come on, let's go hit the showers. your mind out of the gutter it's not that kind of shower here's the deal one dollar gets you one shower token which gets you seven and a half minutes yes we timed it and what we found is that seven and a half minutes is more than enough time for two people to take a regular shower as long as there's no hanky panky or fooling around in that shower and I mean that both literally and figuratively that means you're probably not doing things like shaving or standing around daydreaming underneath the shower head. What it does require, it's getting kind of hot in here. And it's not because I'm talking about showers either. As I was saying, while one person's soaping up their body, the other person could be washing their hair or rinsing off, vice versa, you know, you coordinate to maximize the seven and a half minutes so both parties get an adequate shower. A dollar to shower is pretty cheap. 
especially when you compare it to the cost of a shower at a truck stop where you'll pay anywhere from seven to twelve dollars. Being able to get that very same shower in a two-for-one deal is being a thrifty sightseer. See what we've found over the years is by keeping that money saved in our own pockets versus watching it disappear as it's spent ends up saving us a ton of money. Thus, we've been able to live the lifestyle of our dreams. Not to mention, the whole showering with a buddy lessens our impact on the environment. Comments, questions, thoughts? I want to hear from you. Leave it for me in the comment section below. Hopefully you enjoyed this silly little ditty on how I save money taking showers. If showering with a buddy isn't your jam or showering publicly is something you detest, there are other ways you can save by showering in your own rig. One, install a water saving shower head. We save a gallon per minute as it only uses one and a half gallons per minute. Number two, turn off the water in between soaping up and rinsing off. And number three, do your shaving in the sink. And finally, there's the dirty secret that no self-respecting RVer likes to talk about, and that is the bird bath. You know, where you heat water up, take a wash rag, and give yourself a luxurious sponge bath, just like at the spa. Well, maybe not like just at the spa, but a lot of RVers, they don't like to talk about it, but we all know they do it, where they alternate days taking showers and then sponge baths. One last thing before we wrap this up, if you have any money saving tips, tricks, or hacks that you'd like to pass along to me to possibly be featured in a future vid, feel free to email me at thethriftysightseer at gmail.com. Again, that's thethriftysightseer at gmail.com. Until next time, Stay thrifty, stay clean. This is Sightseeing Sally. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible.